All links and common questions related to this video will be in the video description. You can help support these video tutorials by rating the video or commenting. Adding a logo or watermark to your video is actually very easy. Just search logo filter on Google and click the first result, neuron2.net and here we have a, a logo filter by Donald Graft. Go ahead and download filter and manual. Save it. I'm going to put it on my desktop and it's saved. Now I'm going to put it inside the YouTube uh, the plugins folder for virtual dub and I'm going to extract it. I'm going to use WinZip, WinRAR, or 7-Zip. Extract here and uh, make sure you leave only the VDF. If you want to keep the manual, that's fine. Go ahead. Um, but now, when I open virtual dub, I'll have the option when I select full processing mode to add the filter uh, logo filter. It's Logo Filter 1.7 B2 by Donald Graft. When I double click it, it allows me to select um, a bitmap. It has to be a 24 bit bitmap that I can use for my logo or watermark. And let me give you an example of how you could make a bitmap file. Just a picture. I'm just going to use basic MS Paint. It's actually really easy. Almost any uh, image editing program can do this doesn't matter whether it's GIMP, Photoshop, or even MS Paint. Okay, I'm going to open MS Paint and I'm going to say hello YouTube. And I'm not too good with MS Paint, but oh well. It's pretty simple. And I guess I'm going to grab the area, the little rectangle. Let me see if I can crop. Now I'm going to make the picture smaller. I'm going to go to Attributes and I'll make it uh, 320 by 240, which is the size of the YouTube videos. You can make it smaller, bigger, it doesn't matter. Just as long as the picture is not bigger than any of the video's attributes, width or height. Click OK. And now I have a 320 by 240 box. Uh, I'm going to change the background to a blue. Just select blue. and color in uh, the white spots. I should have made it blue to begin with, but oh well. And now I'm going to save as bitmap. I'm going to go to desktop and I'm going to say hello. And it's going to automatically save it as a 24-bit bitmap, as you can see here, 24-bit bitmap. You can change the, the settings here also. But now I go back to the logo filter. I go to hello bitmap and I'm going to select a transparent color. I'm going to make it blue 255. That'll make everything that was in blue transparent. And click OK. That's all I really need to do right now. Uh, let me import a video. And you can see Hello YouTube is in the video. While the video is playing you can actually see the Hello YouTube inside the video. So it's really really simple to do. As for watermark, you can actually, whoops, uh, let me go back to the filter. You can actually make it more transparent. 255 means completely uh, visible. If you set it to zero, the logo will be pretty much invisible. If you set it to 128 or something, it's going to be somewhere in between. So you can make it transparent, as transparent as you want. And you can select uh 255, 255, 255 if you want the transparent color to be something like white. So it's really easy. Uh, 000 means the transparent color is black. You can set which frame you want the logo to start on. So if you want to put static images, you can also do that. I'm going to start on frame 50, and it's going to last 100 frames or something. So you can set the duration. These little things will allow you to move the picture relative to the video. So if you have a small picture, you can move it around the video screen uh, to exactly where you want it. So you can set up a show like What the Buck Does just using pictures. Uh, but then you can preview it using Show Preview. And here I have Hello YouTube. You can even fade in and fade out uh, the picture you want. 
So it's pretty fully featured and it's actually very easy to implement. And you can make it start whenever you want and you can make it last however long you want it to last. You can also even add animated sequences if you have the a ton of bitmaps uh, numbered, but I don't really recommend it. Anyways, thanks for listening. You can see a full list of my videos by going to youtube.jimmyr.com. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Anyways, thanks for listening.